Brad Pitt is saying he's on his last leg. This episode of THR News is brought to you by Netflix's Squid Game for your Emmy consideration. During his cover story for GQ, the Oscar-winning superstar noted that he's eyeing the end of his career. I consider myself on my last leg. This last semester or trimester, what is this section going to be? And how do I want to design that? Pitt next stars in the blockbuster Bullet Train, starring as an assassin on a train in Tokyo who's returned to the risky job after a case of burnout. He top lines an all-star cast that also includes Sandra Bullock, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Bad Bunny, among others. Also on his slate is the anticipated Damien Chazelle-directed epic Babylon, opposite Margot Robbie, about the transition from silent films to talkies due out December 25th. Elsewhere, the GQ profile is filled with personal revelations. Pitt opens up about quitting cigarettes and being a part of 12-step recovery groups after getting sober nearly six years ago. I had a really cool men's group here that was really private and selective, so it was safe, because I'd seen things of other people who had been recorded while they were spilling their guts, and that's just atrocious to me. He also shares spending years with a low-grade depression, explaining, I was always moving with the currents, drifting in a way and onto the next. I think I spent years with a low-grade depression, and it's not until coming to terms with that, trying to embrace all sides of self the beauty and the ugly that I've been able to catch those moments of joy. Pitt doesn't seem eager to say goodbye either, suggesting that he'll continue to create for years to come, whether that be through producing, music, or one of his other passions, art and sculpture. I'm one of those creatures that speaks through art. I just want to always make. If I'm not making, I'm dying in some way. For more details on this story, head to the article on THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.